G'day folks, it's Rob here and welcome to our small little backyard farm YouTube channel. We're based here in Southeast Queensland, Australia and it's great to see you guys come along. Uh, today's video is basically a collection of clips that we've posted over on our Patreon webpage. Uh, Patreon, for you folks who don't know, is just a way that people can help out YouTube and other social media creators, just with a few bob here or there. There's a link in the description, don't want to go on about it too much. There's also a link at the end of the clip, so you can, you know, pop on over and have a look if you're curious as to what Patreon's all about. Um, this selection of clips, though, is basically some harvest clips I posted for the folks over there around about September October from memory so there'll be the next couple of clips one will be on um, different walk arounds around the patch and then the last one will be a fairly recent um, series of videos from December and November so I do hope you enjoy these videos today how's it going folks thought I'd just bring you along and show you what we're having for dinner tonight we're having the first of the volunteer minuets, minus the uh, mango flower. So I'm just going to chop this little lady off here. I'm just grab my scissors. So I've been protecting her with that little uh, milk crate. I'm not going to worry about saving too much of it down the base. So there we go. I obviously cut off too high because I've got a lot of leaves coming off. And that's going to be joining some beetroot leaves, some amaranth and some parsley. The parsley is going into a couscous salad and the cauliflower is just going into the fridge. Um, yeah, we're having salad tonight but it was just starting to divide a little bit too much and I didn't want it to go to flour so this is that orange one from out the front. I'm pretty impressed with it to tell you the truth. So I might try a punnet or two of them next year or might even suss out and see if I could buy the individual colours myself rather than relying on the hardware store. So, there we go. I'll just um, fill up the rest of the basket with a few more greens and give you a final look. So I think I might do away with this uh, little speckled cos as well because it looks like it's going to um, bolt. The uh, leaves are curling out rather than in. These guys here, the leaves are still curling in and this one here, they're just starting to um, separate. So, we might take this little lady out first. I'm going to take these whole plants because I'm going to pop something else in here. And just to show you, this is the minuet. I don't know if you remember that um, was chopped off too low the other week. And as you can see, we've got um, new leaves coming out down the side there. So pretty impressed with that. Don't mind the dead leaves there. <laughs> so this will join the others in the basket. And I think that will do us for the night. A lot of this lettuce will probably be left over and I might make up some curried eggs or something tomorrow. Lettuce and egg sandwiches always goes down a treat on a bit of sourdough, so there you go folks, a bit of a look at the um, pickings for tonight. I hope everyone's well and happy, and I'll catch you online. Cheers folks. G'day folks, thought I'd give you a bit of a look at the harvest I'm doing. Um, I'm just taking some bits and pieces off. I came out just for a little bit of a short walk around clip. Just, um, yeah, just so I've got something to post this weekend. Oh, the purple cauliflower is looking like it needs to come off. The, the reason I really came out the front was for that beautiful green baby there, cauliflower. And also, beans! We have beans, snap beans. Or bush beans. Tasty beans. But anyway, I've got some beans to harvest, so... I thought I'd just give you guys a bit of a look. Now what I've taken off for today, or what I'm going to take off for today, and I'll be adding a little bit into the um, video that I'm going to post maybe later tonight, but I'll do this one for you guys first, so anyway, I'll get to it and start to, um, what's this one doing? Oh, there's only a baby still. Uh, I'll get to it and start to take these guys off. One thing I will show you though is our squash. She's almost made it all the way over. To the trellis so I think she'll be right so I can come out tomorrow and put another um, clip up there where are we there we are put another clip up there so there we go I better get to um, taking off some of these beans before it starts to rain again so I think I mentioned before how much I miss my beans um, I really love them fresh rather than cooking them but if we do them as a family, cook them up as a family what I normally do is um, keep mine to one side and then the girls can do their own 
Oh, it doesn't look like you're going to get a massive harvest, but still enough for a meal's worth. I suppose that's the idea with beans, you just got to keep picking them regularly enough so they keep setting more fruit. Nice little handful from that plant. Let's have a quick look over here. Oh, there's some more I could take off, but we'll leave them for a day or two's time. We'll move up to the next one. Oh, I've got a few on here. Four or five. So in previous years I've been rather slack with the beans because I don't like canning them. Like I said, I like them fresh. So I don't really like freezing them because they always come out oh, fairly atrocious, I think. I was brought up on frozen pea beans from my parents' place and my nans and pops. So one thing I always disliked was um, their frozen beans. Sorry if the traffic's too loud, not a lot I can do about that. My phone battery died while I was filming the small update, so I can't even plug in my mic. So that's what we've got so far. On to bed number two. The little onboard light on this uh, Panasonic camera is rather good. The only problem is when you're um, doing clips late in the afternoon and you need the light on your face, I end up having white dots in my eyes for a couple of hours afterwards. Well, those guys aren't that productive. There's a fine specimen of a beam. I think he's about the biggest we've had. So there we go. Definitely enough for a meal and a few for me to munch on while I'm getting ready. So I'll grab this cauliflower, hey? So there you go, not a bad head. Taking a couple of the side leaves off. Definitely they're yeah, ready to pick. You can see the little um, florets starting to burst apart and also no caterpillars Melanie so that's always a bonus. That is unless you like sauteed caterpillars I suppose but there you go. Cars are starting to get loud now. Uh, this one here definitely took longer than the normal 60 day variety that I've mentioned online but yeah I would like to find out what type it was so we can have another crack at them. I'll actually buy the seeds for this green one. I know it's not a Romanesco broccoli because uh, it's definite cauliflower but if you look underneath it the way it's um, sort of growing, the growth habit and also to the flavour. So anyway enough nattering, we'll get to the purple one hey. So these purple ones I've always found their little flowers, individual heads are a little bit more delicate than the others. Oh, around about there I think is a good spot. So there we go. Not a bad little head. And again, by the look of it, caterpillar free. So I've run up onto the front stairs, it started to rain again. We've got some mulberries, um, these tasty little fellas will be anchoring my after dinner dessert. And then we've got the beans and the carrot, um, just a couple of the last carrots from that barrel down near the back stairs there. And a couple of uh, broccoli heads from down the back that were starting to separate. So we've got all the heads off the plants now and we're starting to get the side shoots through and the two collies you saw harvested, so there you go. I'm gonna duck in now and start editing this and pop it up for you guys now and I'll do the full clip for everyone else later. Cheers folks. We're at the beach today. Kira and I are having the day off after dropping off Maya. Hello. And I thought I'd show you this came across some Warrigal Greens or New Zealand spinach and it's native in or native natural habitat just on the um, shoreline there's a little bit over there and Kerry just pointed these guys out those are little babies more babies and a slightly larger baby and all up the hill yep so there you go just gonna take you over to the stairs because these guys don't look that healthy I'll show you another patch we saw just on the boardwalk now or the stairs up to the boardwalk and we found some awesome healthy looking specimens. These guys have got nice luscious green broad leaves, so I think I might go find a crab to poke. Cheers folks, have a good one. Yep, it's alive. Probably shouldn't put no on him, should I? My pat. Bye bye crabby. That's a lot of sand stuff.
How's it going patrons? A bit of a sneak peek at something that's going in this weekend's clip. Um, just got some onions, onions, garlic that I've pulled from the system. These guys here have started to shoot again, um, so I've decided I'll pull them out, let them die off, and yeah, we'll just use them over the next few weeks. This one here all died off bar one, this one reshot again, so I figure I might as well pull them out now and make some way for some space in the bed for other things to go in because that's what this weekend's clip's going to be about, planning a few things out in the beds. These guys here, my phone will focus. I just wanted to show the, these little black fellas down in here. They're the little black onion aphids, or um, we get them on onions as well as the snake beans for some reason. So they're on this garlic, probably because there's a few more dots down there you can probably make out. Probably because it's a bit sickly. So I figured if I can get these guys out of here, you know, that's one less thing I have to worry about. Had a visitor in the patch today, Evelyn. G'day, Evelyn. I don't think she's here on Patreon, though. Um, she's up from Melbourne with her family, and she decided to take the hour drive from the Gold Coast to come and check out the system. And we stood here squishing aphids earlier, so... Yeah, got to get rid of them. I think there may be a few on this green onion, so I'll just harvest it for a meal tomorrow night and get that out of the system, but yeah. Bit of a sneak peek at a garlic harvest. I mean, it's not a bumper crop by any means, but you know, a bit of a yield for only popping one clove in. I'm not too sure what's going on with this garlic though. Um, it's happened the last three years now. We've had the majority of it do this, split again, and um, shoot before it's ready to harvest. So whether I'm, yeah, just not catching it in time or what the story is, I'm not too sure. I could, you know, take the easy road out and blame global warming, but I won't. So there's a bit of a sneak peek anyway for you folks. So tomorrow, big plans, planting out the beds. And I think I should probably <laughs> give this parsley a bit of a trim back as well. Because it is overhanging the walkway there. That's pretty much all, all over the walkway. Everything can shop there. And I have noticed there's this branch over the back here that's going to flower. So we might just um, save this one. Anyway, I'll pretty much all leave it there. Otherwise, there'll be nothing to show people tomorrow. Hope you're all well and happy. And I'll catch you online, folks. Cheers. I think we're coming to the end of the mulberries. We've got a couple of kilos in the fridge, babe. Yeah, three bags now. Three bags now, so probably about three quarters of a kilo in each. So... And then probably another two smaller harvests after that, and we'll be making mulberry and rosella jam. Sweet. Um, I will admit to uh, pinching one or two while out here this morning, mowing the yard, so... I should as well. You should as well. Cool. So we only got about half a bag. Some of them are pretty persistent. Yes. Didn't want to come off. So this one around here, it's pretty cool. It's got a bit of a belly button thing going on. So if the camera will focus. Thank you, Bianca's finger. This one over here's got a bit of a belly button. I suppose it almost looks like a Homer Simpson face too from a different angle. Oh, I can see that. <laughs> cool. That's a, that's a bit sad. That is sad. Yeah. Anyway, there's a bit of a look at uh, the mulberry tree. And hopefully we'll do a uh, bit of a clip on the jam once it gets done. Oh, and that's my sad hat in the background. I played quoits with it on the fork and it went all the way through. I need a new hat. But that's it, folks. Hope everyone's well and happy, and I'll catch you online. Cheers. Hope you've enjoyed that little bit of a look at a couple of the harvests we had earlier on in the year. Laura keeps it getting a bit noisy, so I suppose I should wrap it up. Uh, if you are interested in sussing out or checking out our Patreon account, you can click on that little link down there. And there's a couple of thumbnails you can click on as well. Take you to a couple of videos you can check out to see what else we do here. I do hope you're all well and happy, and I will catch you next clip. Cheers, folks. Have a great one.